rise and shine in our beautiful kitchen uh, down here at my main base, which uh, I guess is where we're going to start today. Yeah, it's 7.30 in the morning on day 39. So I think what we're going to do, I've dropped off a bunch of stuff here. I think I... Let's take this with us. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, right now, we have 50 minutes left in here. We've got a bunch of metal going in there. And do I have any? I have no metal left. So I know what we're doing after Horde Night ends is we're going metal mining. This box, however, uh, I've got all the stone I'm ever probably going to need in this. I say that, but you need so much concrete in this game, it's kind of dumb. So... Just let that kind of keep going. We're already making some asphalt for our airport runway. So let's see. Four, six. Is there any more? Oh, my God. I have so much concrete powder. Why do I have so much of this? Uh, let's see. I think we basically can make probably as much as we have sand. Yep. And same thing here. Yep. Okay. Okay. I have eight concrete powder left out of all that. That's amazing. That is something, I'll tell you. Okay. So, we're also going to need sand. So, let's just do a nice 6,000 of that there. And let's do a nice 6,000 of it here. There we go. May as well top that off. All right, so smelters are rocking and rolling. We've got tons of food on us. I've also got tons of food. I keep finding these food bundles and these POI raids and stuff now that have tons of, like, spaghetti and stuff in them. So I don't need, and, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the shepherd's pie came from that. Yeah, it did. Uh, so I have not needed to buy any of that kind of stuff in quite a bit of time. So this is kind of the embarrassing thing that, I, that I've got going on here. Uh, I've got a ton of ammo. An absolute like mountain of ammo and ammo crafting stuff as well i thought we were going to run into a problem where i wasn't going to be able to replenish enough of it before horde night uh that turned out to not be the case i also have tons of extra gunpowder right now uh tons of coal and tons of nitrate in the last stream was it I'm pretty sure it was the last stream we found uh coal and nitrate deposits digging our pathway that actually goes underground all the way to our horde night base so we're gonna be able to check that out a little bit later today I think we've already upgraded our armor. Yep, all of our armor is level 5 or level 6 because I found a few better pieces. So our armor is about as good as it's going to get. And we've got seven sweet, sweet skill points to spend today before the Horde Night actually begins. So we are going to have some fun today uh, doing what we do. Did J-Law reset today? I wonder. Let's go visit her. Good way to start the day, saying hello to J-Law. Let's go see what she's up to. Let's go see. We've got a lot of this runway done. I think I'm... Am I all the way done with this extension of it? I can't remember. No, no, we're not. Okay. Nope. I've still got that. But I guess we can dig some more of our runway today, although I really don't want to get any more... Uh, I really don't want to get any more clay. For the love of God, I don't need it. But... It is what it is. If we end up getting more clay, we end up getting more clay. It'll be perfectly fine. Jayla! You again? Yeah, me again. I'm starting to think you like Dr. J. You're torn by what, Dad? Uh, she did restock today. What do you got? What are you... These are all books I've already read before. Yeah, but I don't... Old, she's got old cash. Why does it look like she's got... Oh, I've already been here today, I bet you. I've already been here, because it's like she would have opened like an hour and a half ago. Uh, I mean, that's 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 perfectly up to you. I had to disable the Trip Fisk one, just because I don't... I'm not really feeling like the best today. So, putting on the Trip Fisk get up was just not in the... Not in the cards for me. Couldn't help you. Yeah, you can't help me. All right. Okay. She didn't have anything really good. I th I'm pretty sure I've already been there. I am reasonably sure I've already been there, so... I think what we need to do is we need to go to our Horde Night base and we need to kind of assess the status of things over there first before we get invested in any other kind of projects or raids or anything else today. We've got to make sure that we have everything we're going to need here. Turn around. There we go. 
it's tough, man. That thing robs you of like, like depth perception and stuff like that. All right, so we'll leave that there for the mo. Do I just? I think. I think. Let's let's not worry. We'll worry about that for actual horde night. We won't worry about it right now. Turn around. There we go. Yeah, one extension of the runway is already do is is almost done at least. So that's at least good. Runway will be done soon enough, but I've still got more digging to do for it because I don't know exactly where it's going to end uh, on the southern uh, on the southern arm of it. Yeah, we've got to replace trappages here. We've got we've got traps that are missing. We've got bare spots where there are no traps. We've got to do some trap work over here. I'm ninety five. It's good number. Uh, percent sure that we have gotten rid of um, that we have filled up all the turrets i should say like i'm 95 percent sure I'm, I'm i'm like really sure and i think if i didn't the last one is like over here like here here no those are full we cannot be shortchanging any of our turrets today we gotta make sure we're loaded for bear i could start filling another one of these up again because i've been slowly but surely filling those up Horde Knights, I kind of like dedicating to prep. I'm, yeah, those are full. We're not going to worry about anything like that. All right, let's grab some of these blade traps, and I want to kind of figure out logistically where we might be able to put them and wire them into the grid and see if we can have some fun with it. I'm hoping we're going to get numbers to play some Stabby Stab tonight, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like um, very little interest in it. Um, from what I saw over in, like, the three of us, I think, have said yes. So, probably not going to happen. I was hoping it would, but, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Let's grab some stuff so we can do that. Let's grab our wire tool. There we go. And let's grab some blade traps. I do have an extra shoddy turret. I must have... Uh, I have no freaking traps. Okay, I did build more, though. Okay. So. Uh no forged iron here either <sighs> not cool nick let's build i don't know like a hundred wooden traps or something for now i mean I, that I, it's not an insignificant that's an absurd amount of time to have been awake already dad i'm sorry 1 a.m for context, for those of you watching the VOD later on YouTube, it is 5 p.m. right now. Is there? There's like one broken one right there. See, the one thing that I got rid of before on this one, before uh, the last Horde Night, they, um, the, the wall that was here they were having a field day going around that wall and like basically trying to attack like the weakest point they could in the base area. The wall is now gone. We got rid of the wall because, well, we did with the walls gone. So now, and yeah, let's sub reserve the iron traps for the close up stuff. Like in here is where it should go. Look at all these ones are damaged too. And I never even got a chance to repair them. I need to get forged iron from home. But yeah, what they were doing is they'd run around the wall and then they would make their way into the base area here. We need some of this stuff to be a little bit closer here too. There we go. Go, go. Yeah, we'll probably fill the rest of that up with maybe wooden traps or something like that. But this is an area where that wall was before. I also need to get inside of where the wall was before because we obviously need to do some stuff in there. Uh, let's build like 20 blocks right now. And let's uh, do this action here. Whoop. Up, over. There we go. Aha. Yes, let's get rid of that guy. Oh. Stop. Yeah, because this whole section here is kind of completely bare. Because, again, this was the old uh, yard area of the gas station. So I was like, well, I don't need to put anything in there. Which may have been true before, but now we definitely do probably need to put something in here. Aha. Ow! Knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> scared the scared the absolute life out of me too, so don't don't worry about that. I can definitely repair all these wooden ones, but the 
metal ones. I don't have any forged iron on me right now. Which... I need to... I think as soon as Horde Night's over, I think our first thing is going to be to head back to the iron mines. And collect... Let's see, look at all these iron traps that are just sitting out here not doing nothing. All these need to get freaking repaired. Come on, there we go. The hitbox is on them are weird, too, so that's why I'm, like, jumping. If you're wondering, like, why is he jumping like an idiot? Uh, the game kind of makes you, like, because the, the hitboxes are so weirdly shaped for them. So you have to be, like, aiming, like, just perfect to get to them and, like, actually repair them. So, yeah, what they try to do is they try to break in and then they try to get down as close as they can to... Everything else, and I did notice there was that one busted up one, like right down there. And we're gonna stick uh, one over top of that. There's already other ones over on top of that one, so I'm not worried about that. And they never even penetrated this corridor last time. Don't think this was one of their primary avenues of attack last time, thankfully. Uh, one more metal trap right there, sure. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we are... I'm stuck on a trap again. If I die before Horde Night... Good bold scratch made zombie horde. Yes! What is up, Mr. Yumi? Welcome. Come on! Dang it! There we go. All right. Put that in there. Oh, there's still another busted wooden one in there. These are all wooden traps here, so I like the idea of putting at least there we go. No, don't do that. Dang it. Okay, whatever. So yeah, they like to they come along in here along the sides, and then they run along the side of the structure and they try to get in here whatever way they can. Oh, that's right. This is there's like one block here that's like glitched weird. Like, it doesn't let me place something in it unless I'm, like, at a really, really, really weird angle. See how, like, I have to be up here pointing at the wrong block to get that to go in there? And I don't think... This one here, I don't think I can get anything to go in there. Don't die. That'd be anti... It would be. Hi, Menace. It would be very anticlimactic. It really, really would be. Yeah, these corridors need to be filled with our iron traps. And then, yeah, like, see, this... I can't... I, I'd have to put something way the heck up here. What the heck good is that going to do me? And then there's there's some missing up by the actual structure itself. Look at this. These are missing. Is this where I glitched through last time? This might be where I glitched through last time. That might be why those are missing. Because I think I had to destroy them because I was going to die. I don't remember. And I haven't, uh, I haven't pulled that one down for a VOD yet, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh oh. Yeah, what we need to do is we need to figure out exactly how are we going to set this up here. Oh, I missed you too, Menace. It's been quiet for us Wheaties lately. I think we're all dealing with uh, our own stuff. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. All right, so let us uh, prepare you, first of all. I really desperately need to get wooden stuff. I mean, I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm, I we'll see how much stream energy I have. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I ate something that's giving me like a slight allergic reaction or if I'm just not feeling well because I'm like getting sick or something. I really don't know. <laughs> Is that weird? Does that sound, that sound strange? Because uh, it feels strange to me uh, to say it. All right. So I, I think our best bet. Here's, here's, here's my, here's my uh, line of thinking here. If I put you, why can I not put you there? Why? Hello? G game? So let me do it there. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, I'd want to put it level with the zombies' heads, but not the body of it. Like, I just want the blades to be able to dip down and hit them in the heads. Uh, it's being super, super, super difficult. 
with the placement of this one over here. Like, what do I have to, like, go over here and, like, directly face? So, like, it's trying to put it out floating in the middle of stuff. Look at that. Okay, well, we're going to have to do it like this then. All right. So yeah, so the body of it will be higher than the zombies, but the blades are going to dip down right into their head region. So there we go. That's how we're going to set up our blade traps for these corridors. I just, I keep getting these blade trap bundles and I need to just do something with them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just shove a whole bunch of blade traps in these corridors. If they get destroyed, they get destroyed. I'm not really that attached to them. Like since the game literally just gives me these blade trap bundles like candy, I'm really not all that concerned with it to be honest. <laughs> like I will happily continue taking the candy that it uh, is determined to feed to me. Okay, into the interior here. And I think we'll try to hang all these in similar-ish places right underneath the back cross beam where our gun and turret is. We got some spooky, spooky sounds from Epidemic Sound running again today, which I'm loving. I think we're going to clip this out of here. I don't like it. It just It's where the shed used to be that was out back at the grocery store, and it just looks dumb. Because what the zombies have been doing is they've been trying to get down the side walls of these structures, of the structure anyway. That's like the point they've been attacking is they try to come all the way down the sides to get to me. Uh, this will provide a little bit more protection, I hope, in that sense. Uh, once we get these placed, we're going to... Actually, well, we don't need to wire them up yet. We can wire them up later. I just know they need to be wired up. So as long as I remember that... Will I remember that? This has turned into a game of how smart is Nick? Oh, no, because of the open sign, I can't put this one in the same spot there. It's giving me a hit over in the... What's happening? I don't... What? We're going to have to go... We're going to have to go a little bit back on this one because I left the open sign there because I really, really wanted that open sign from the grocery store to stay there. Because I don't know why. Don't ask me questions I don't have answers for. I'm not a smart man. So yeah, so we'll worry about wiring those up later. We've got some wooden traps building down inside the belly of this beast here. Let's add in the rest of these iron traps here. And then we're going to go back to the base here. i got to collect some more... Uh, I've got to collect some more forged iron if I have any more. I have to have more. Please tell me I have more. Because not only do I have to build more traps, I have to repair the ones that are here, too. And maybe upgrade some of the wooden ones. I desperately need, like, a lot of these. See, here's my runway. Here is my runway. Uh, I've got to fill in the rest of the end here of the runway. And then we've got to do the southern arm of it, which goes, like, up that way. But we've got one uh, section of the runway almost completely done, which I am kind of in love with. Let's go home really quick, though, and see what we've got back there for Forged Iron. We're going to get an airdrop today. I If I don't go get it, someone remind me to mark where it is on the map. Because if I don't go get it, then the problem is, is it'll, it'll save an icon on the minimap when it first drops. But if you quit the game... That mini map, that, that icon disappears. It doesn't like save it and carry it over, which is kind of, never mind. But I, I have tw I have 20 more here. I have another 20 still at the Horde Knight base. I have so many of these dumb things. I also keep getting these dart trap bundles as well. Uh, I don't know if these are any good. Hi, Allison. I don't think, I think you were waving at me. I don't think you were telling me that you were gonna, I don't think you were telling me to wave, but I'm gonna wave anyway. Hi, welcome. Uh, yes, yeah, so I keep getting these dart traps too, but I don't know where I would put them. You know what I could do? We're going to do a test, chat. We're going to do a test today. Uh, Forged Iron, that's what we came for, though. It'd be in here. Okay, we do have some. We definitely do have some. Are we producing more? No. 
and we are almost completely out of iron as well. Let's take that steel with us. We're going to need to upgrade some stuff to steel for sure, for sure. Oh, this is heartbreaking. I'm almost completely out of iron. <sighs> well, let's, while we're here anyway, make as much more of it as we can. We need to add more time on the clock here. Yep, there we go. Match that one, and let's make you make more cement. There we go. All right. We've got a lot of work to do to finish upgrading the base and stuff like that still as well, but... Make a moat of them. I was trying to find a wave emote, but he actually... <laughs> well, it's wonderful to see you over there. Uh, however you said hello. I really, really appreciate it. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. I hope everyone, like I said, I hope everyone had a good Friday. I'm undecided. We'll see how I feel as, like, the, the next hour or two develops and see if, like, I maintain energy or if my energy completely disappears. I really do want to do the Horde Knight. I, I feel fine enough now. Uh, so we'll see. No, so my idea, chat. My idea. Airdrop's coming in 45. Gotta make sure we uh, pay attention to that here. Uh, also, we gotta do this while we go in here, too. <laughs> fix that, fix that, fix that. There we go. Yeah, and like I said, possible, possible, but seeming more unlikely than not stabby stabs later. Didn't seem like we had a lot of people who were really keen in the chat when we were uh, in the discord, I should say, when we were posting, asking about it. So I'm not sure if that's something that people are going to be keen for or not. There we go. Uh, all right. I have an idea. I have an idea. So uh, we're going to have zombies coming in and doing this stuff. So what if, what if we do, let's do staggered like one back from the, or actually, let's go right underneath where this thing is here. Let's go right here. Okay. What if... We put these dart traps in the walls here and shoots out at the zombies as they come in here. Like, what if we go right here, in here, and our ladder's right there on the back of it? That makes it even better. Does it? I don't know if that makes it better or not. Chris, welcome. Oh, well, good luck, Mrs. Yaney. Hopefully that goes really, really well for her, Chris. So yeah, so what we can do is we can put this in here, boop, like that, and then, well, that's only 10 watts to run that too. That's not bad at all, at all, at all. Uh-oh. I have made a grave, grave error. I can't place a block here because the game's like bugged. Oh, dang it. Son of a... Son of a... Yeah, but if I put the dart traps right there, if any zombies get into this area, they're going to get popped with the... They're gonna get popped with the with the with the darts, right? I think it's a good call anyway. I'm proud of it. And I also think I got out of there without taking a lot of damage, which makes me a very happy boy. We've got more wood traps being built, so we'll fill up more of the rest of that with wood traps. So yeah, what if we do? We'll take this out of here. Good thing is, is the blocks are already banged up because the zombies have already been beaten up on them. That's not a good thing, actually. My real worry for these Horde Knights still is I still have not seen a Demolisher in this game. Uh, I know they're going to... It's got to happen a Vinch. It's got to. I want to work on strengthening these corridors... Because Demolisher Bombs are going to start doing a lot of damage if they go off when they're hit. I can't, how can I not even upgrade? I can upgrade that from inside. Thank you very much. Suck it. I don't need you. Dumb game. I don't need you to tell me what I can and can't do. I think that was the one I landed on when I jumped out of there. Yeah, so now we'll have the blade traps in there. If they penetrate a little bit deeper, the blades will go take their heads off. And we're going to have the dart traps in here. And the dart traps will pop the zombies, of course. 
and uh, and, and give them a little whoop fur if they get close enough to me. Boy, that steel that steel isn't taking any damage at all up there, is it? There we go. Yeah, I want to start like the foundation of this base needs to start getting upgraded because demolishers when demolishers start showing up. As much as I would love to believe I'll never set one off, I'm going to set one off. It's going to happen. And those things are like, you, Nick, don't fall on the traps. <sighs> super, super good. I'm so good at this game. All right. So right here, airdrop coming in. Right here next to this window, we're going to pop in dart trap. I only got six dart traps. I wonder how you build a dart trap. Because I could easily build two more and fill out all four sides. I wonder if this will change the way the zombies try to attack me, too. Like, maybe they'll purposefully ignore this and try to attack me from another side, knowing that these dart traps are here. I wonder if that's a thing. Bam, there we go. Yeah, I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if they would actually do that. I also wonder, will they damage each other firing out like that? I don't know. <laughs> good, good questions that probably needed answers before this very moment. Okay, there we go. Where is our airdrop? I see the indicator up there. Did it land yet? The last two airdrops I got were over on the top of that freaking mountain. Tell me it's not over there again. Tell me it's way short of that and I don't have to drive up there again or fly up there or whatever the heck. <sighs> they seem to love this corridor and they seem to love the other corridor on the other side. So yeah, this would be the, the north and south corridors then. They seem to love these ones in particular. I don't know why. Yeah, um, turrets are probably going to be something I'm going to start adding more in the future. Not right now, though. I think what we've got is manageable, and it's going to become an, an issue of, like, ammo versus turret. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to have not enough ammo to manage all the turrets and stuff like that, if that makes sense. I do plan to add more in the future, because zombies, they're just going to get um, more dense, like the hordes are. I can update that one from inside. So zombies have done a little bit of damage on these walls here. I'm, I'll be, I'm gonna be honest, like this is probably more, um, all this damage is probably me shooting as well. Like it's probably my bullets ricocheting off the walls and stuff. Start upgrading these on this side as well here. And we're out of steel. I have not needed to make ammo. I'm still, okay, so let me, let me, let me rephrase this. I'm making ammo, okay? I don't need to. I've got so much stinking ammo, it's ridiculous. I find so much in these like infestation quests now, because these infested quests are new to um, like Alpha 21 and stuff. Like I have never done them before. Oh, I'm fixing up the one I'm gonna replace for this thing. Um, like these infested quests are new to either this Alpha or the last Alpha, I don't know which. But the amount of stuff you get from them is kind of insane. That's the wrong block. So, like, I've been making tons of ammo, kind of anticipating, because I, Yaney, I know you watched, like, the Alpha 19 stuff I did. I was basically, like, Horde Knights basically became a carousel of, like, I basically had enough time to, like, do a little bit of building, a little bit of, like, POI raids and stuff like that. But mostly, I was, like, working hard to craft enough ammo to cover my base's ammo needs for Horde Knights in between every Horde Knight. Like, it was just, like, this endless cycle of that. Uh, at the end of my uh, Alpha 19 playthrough. That's basically what that playthrough eventually became. Um, this game so far anyway, like, because of these, like, infested quests and stuff, like, I have found so much more ammo, I feel like, anyway, in this Alpha than I ever did before. I feel like I'm finding, like, absolute tons of it. Yeah, look at these messes up here. We got to get this stuff repaired. The game is weird about these. 
so I apologize for that. Um, here's a, here, okay, hang on a second. Where is this airdrop? Let's see if I can get to it easily, because if I can, I'll grab it. If not, um, we're gonna add a little marker to it and we'll get it sometime later. I think it spawned up on top of the mountain again, which is the third freaking time in a row. Why are you up there? I don't think this one's all the way at the top though, so maybe I can get this one. Ooh, almost hit that iron. Gonna very quickly run out of momentum here, so hopefully I'm gonna uh, like Skyrim horse ride across the side of the mountain here. Yeah, this is, I don't know why. This is the third one in a row that has spawned up in these mountains like this. This one's not as high as the last two were. The last two were all the way at the top. But yeah, I'm now. <sighs> Better idea is just to. Uh-oh. Well, we'll uh, we'll have to grab the motorcycle <laughs> motorcycle when we go back down. <laughs> ah, sigh. Nothing for nothing, too. But these things have not really had anything really all that worth getting in them either. I don't really know why I'm so concerned with it right now, but. A hundred cobblestone blocks, potatoes, coffee, sledgehammer parts. Like, not, all this stuff is, like, so mid-game, and I'm, like, way past the mid-game at this point. Sigh. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. I mean, the crafting skill... Like, what crafting skill books? I have almost all of them at this point. Except for stuff I don't use. Like... Although, I did find that out. I need to start doing... I need to start bringing um, more than one gun type on these tier six raids. If you didn't catch that last stream, like the, the VOD will be up on the YouTube channel probably next week. Um, if you didn't catch that freaking that Navisgain correctional facility, that prison that we did, that was nuts. That was legitimately insane. Like that was just absolute like tidal wave of freaking zombies. They're, I mean, they they had talked, like, ages ago about adding bandits to the game. Uh, that was several years ago, though, and I don't know if that's even going to be a thing anymore, and if it is, when? Probably will be Alpha 36. You're absolutely correct. Ow. All right, let's go home or let's go back to the Horde Knight base. I want to make sure we get this stuff wired up. I want to make sure we do not miss uh, miss a B here. But once, um, you know, we're going to take, we're going to make sure we take our, there is now an underground pathway that connects directly to here from the, from the main base over there. Uh, so there is now an underground pathway that I can access. I don't have to nerd pull up to this thing anymore. Right now I am because it's easier because we're already right here. So why not? All right. So uh, I'm going to go inside and grab more steel. And we're going to start making some more iron traps. We're going to grab our wooden traps out of our crafting bench. How many iron spike traps can I make? They cost four, so why don't we make like 40? There we go. So I still have a full stack. And that's going to take long enough as it is. Jeez. Okay. All right. Well, we've got at least some extra... Some extra forged iron. Now, let's grab some steel because I want to upgrade more of the base area. I don't think we even really need the cobblestone, but whatever. We have it. Blade trap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have enough Molotovs, right? Like, yeah, look at all this ammo. Like this, and these are boxes, by the way. Like this white box in the corner, that means it's a it's a box of ammo. 
So it's not just a stack of it. It's like five stacks of it. <laughs> so, like, well, I think it's 500. I don't think it's five stacks. But even still, like, I've got so much ammo, it's just dumb. I had to create an extra spill box down here for all my magnum ammo because I couldn't fit it in this box anymore. So, yeah. Um, the Horde Knights eventually, I mean, they just keep getting harder. They will just continue to get harder and harder and harder and harder no matter what we do. You just eat these dumb potatoes. Jeez. Freaking waste. The year is 2046. Seven Days to Die has officially released Alpha 100. Still no word on a beta. You mean like, like going gold? Yeah, they never will. They never, they never will. It's been this endless, endless cycle today of them just never, ever, 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 ever doing it. Uh, I've got, what, six stacks of darts. We've got six dart traps deployed. So we're going to put one stack of 500 in each one and see how we do. Uh-oh. Uh, of course, it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? Sometimes, you know what, seven days to die developers? Sometimes in the real world, it does not rain. Uh, it does not have to rain literally every day ever. Just, just, just putting that out there. Not an absolute necessity that it rain every day. I've never actually played any of the mods for this game. I've heard some of them are pretty darn good, actually. Uh, I've, I've never actually checked any of them out, though. I really actually should one of these days. Like, one of them is called, like, Darkness Falls. It's like a huge overhaul mod for the whole game. Interact with Dart Trap. Let's put one stack. We only have enough for one stack, so there's only one thing we can put it. Where? Oh, it must be on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's on the other side. Okay, well, I hope I can fit a wire in here to do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to run. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, and go here. And one more. And we're going to go here. And, oh, I forgot about the blade traps, too. Let's make sure. Can we actually get everything wired into here? And, yep. Okay, and then one more. <laughs> Something about, like, too many things being plugged into an extension cord comes to mind with the, the amount of wires coming out of that single relay. Uh, the setting for this game is Navisgain, Arizona. I don't know if that's a real place or not. Presumably it is. I honestly don't know, but presumably. So I want the sides of these corridors. I want all these upgraded with steel from this point forward. I'm not going to have enough to do all of them, I don't believe. But at least if I can do most of them, we'll be okay. And yeah, I need to actually be way better about after Horde Knights going through here with concrete and just making sure I patch up. Uh, anything that either A, got damaged because of me, or B, that the zombies just decided to uh, smack around a few times. <laughs> Seven days to die is still only 3,595 days old. Oh, what's up, Rankified? Welcome. Yeah, it's 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 literally, it will perpetually be in, 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 uh, in Alpha. The frustrating thing is, too, is that, like, you have to restart every single time because they never let you port over anything. Like, the, every major alpha completely changes, like, so many different base mechanics of the game that you can't bring over, like, your old world save or anything like that. Okay, it's over there. Does this one have a dart trap in it? Did I put one in this one? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Hop. And up. Did I put darts in that other dart trap? Nope, I did not. Because I am a smart boy who does very smart things. I powered it at least, so it'll be going click, 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 click. I'm really curious if those are going to damage each other. I have a really strong feeling that they're going to damage each other. And like I said, I've just been getting like these bundles of blade traps and dart traps and stuff in the POI raids I've been doing. 
Uh oh, I reached the max. Uh oh. That means I actually need to get another relay. Okay, well that's fine. We can do that. In the hole, Nick. Leave it. Yeah, let's make sure we lock our ammo. We're gonna start doing our little steel upgrades along our edge here. It's like two months younger than GTA 5. That's true. That is true. Oh, dang it. We're out of steel again. Jeez. And I'm out of iron, too. I gotta <laughs> have to have something to put in the hole first. Yeah. Yeah. It does help a little bit. Uh, well, at least I loaded both of those. Uh, okay, so we need another relay. I literally hit the max with that because I've got the one extra blade trap that's like above the entrance here to catch the uh, to catch vultures. One extra thing I can actually have. Uh, let's see. Building iron traps there. Yeah, we're good there. Get more steel. I guess we may as well just deplete whatever freaking supply of it we have at this point. Uh, and I need a relay. Let's just put new relays in all of them, so that way we're not... I mean, it's not like you can overload components of it. Like, the power system in that game, in, in that game, in this game, is not that elaborate. It's not as if you're going to, like, overwhelm. Like, oh my god, there's too many, like I said, too many things plugged into one extension cord. Uh, it's not like it has that level of depth to the electro electronical mechanics. I mean, not yet. I'm sure they're going to do that at some point, probably. Knowing, knowing what they do, they will they will do that, I'm sure. Can I move this? It's kind of in my way of accessing the back half of my little corridor here. Beat it! Still won't be able to get around it, though, will I? It, come on. Get out! Ah, oh, you're all beautiful. Thank you all so so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that, like I said, I hope that you, I hope that you're uh, you're already off to a good start with your weekend. If you're not, a uh, new life series started today. Which, if you're somebody like me who cares about like Hermitcraft and like Minecraft uh, content creators, uh, I'm ecstatically thrilled about it. I've only seen Tango's episode so far, though. I have not had a lot of time to actually watch any of it. But I am overjoyed. <laughs> I am over the freaking moon uh, excited about about it. Um, what can I do? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will it let me wire in the other connection, or is it going to yell at me? What can I... Okay, so get rid of one of them. Is this blade trap wired up here? Yeah. There we go. Clip that out of there. And clip the... Okay, aim it at that. There we go. Uh, okay, now... Let me wire this stupid thing. Uh, like I said, it's only this one... But you know what? We're you know what this is going to be. We're future proofing this because we're going to need if we add more turrets up here eventually. Anyway, we're going to need more relays to wire them to anyhow, right? So now we wire this one in sequence, and we wire you. And there's a blade trap outside. We also got to do. And blade trap. Are both blade traps wired now? I am not feeling strongly about that one. I don't think that one is. Let me in the hole. Leave it. Okay, and bam. Okay, there we go. Now we should be. Uh, we should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. Should be. Okay, let's just go through and do a little bit of steel. Hey, hey, I said leave it, Confuzz. I said leave it. And tell mom you were in here misbehaving. Wait. 
just kind of... And I'm going to run out of steel again, too. Yeah, we're going to run out of steel before I ever get a chance to finish doing that, either. Um, I have more at the main... Oh, did I already upgrade? Yeah, I already did upgrade that one. Okay. I still have yet to see a demolisher in this game, which shocks me. Especially given that like, I'm at tier 6 in terms of POI raids. We're at day 49, Blood Moon. I would have thought I would have seen them ages ago by now. But we need to start making sure the structural stability of this thing is, like, all good. Because... Just gonna put you there. Which one of these did I not wire? Was it this one didn't get darts? No, you got darts. That one got darts. Uh, let's actually unwire that, and we're gonna unwire that. There we go. You're the one that didn't get darts. Ha ha! Nailed it. Let me up the ladder. Okay, so now those blade traps and those dart traps should be wired. The dart traps, do they fire automatically? I've never used a dart trap in this game. I'm literally only using them because the game gave them to me. I didn't make them or anything, but I just get these dart trap bundles. And I wonder, I wonder very much if, yeah, I don't, I honestly don't know. Does anybody know? Chat, anybody? Somebody's gotta know. I honestly don't know. Like when I power these up, they might just all decide to fire what for the heck of it. And they might deplete all the darts without um, ever being able to actually like do anything. Okay, get you wired, ammo lock, there we go. Or will it not fire unless a zombie, like, like similar to the turrets, like if a zombie comes into its purview, then it'll fire. Like maybe it'll be like that, I don't know. Okay, and last darts, lock away, there we go. Well, we're gonna find out one way or the other. I guess, you know what I can do is I can turn it on and just test it anyway. May as well, right? Okay. Well, you know what, Dad? I will still be here when your internet comes back up, most likely. Unless I die in this chair. Which I probably won't. Maybe. All right. And up front, we don't have any, uh, any, any extra fun bells and whistles. But we can still put an extra relay up here. Like so. Because we do have the blade traps, at least that we can wire in sequence with the rest of our stuff here. They do, those bundles did also come with pressure plates. You are absolutely correct about that, Yanny. Uh, I don't know if that's a deal breaker or not. I, like I said, we're gonna find out. We are gonna find out one way or the other. That is true. If I do, if I die in the chair, I will still technically be here. Very, very astute point, Mr. Yaney. Upgrade all of this stuff to steal. I feel like I feel like these electrical tripwire traps take way less damage now than they ever used to. Uh oh, upgraded an extra one. I didn't want to. I don't have the steel to waste on extra blocks, Nick. And we're out of steel again. Let's run a test real quick, because I'm I'm very curious to know the answer to this, actually. We ought to make sure that these turrets are healed up, too, whenever we do stuff. But I don't really ever pay much attention to them. I just assume they're fine. All 
All right, let's run a little test. Let's turn our jennies on and let's flip all of our corridors on and see kind of where they are uh, damage wise and stuff. That's a you. That's a you. That's a you. And that's a you. All right. And let's. How are we doing? 10 minutes. Jeez. All right, so let's flip on. We don't need to flip on every quarter. Let's just try just, uh, you have a dark traps. Yep, this one. Yeah, it's just gonna shoot. <laughs> it's just gonna shoot dark traps. It's just gonna shoot darts literally the whole time. It's just gonna shoot darts the whole time. <laughs> If I do that. All right. Here's a curiosity I have. How much damage did they sustain firing at each other like that? No, they did not sustain any damage. So what I would have to do, I believe you're, I believe you're correct, Yanny. I believe what I have to do is wire in pressure plates. I almost said pleasure plates. What I'd have to do is wire pressure plates in... But because of where I put the dart traps, I'd have to put pressure plates right there in sequence with that. I mean, I guess I, I guess we don't have much of a choice. If I want to use them, I guess we have to, right? This is exactly what I wanted to be doing at 4.30 on Horde Night. Is going back to my base. I need to get more steel anyway, I guess. So I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, I need more steel, so let's head home and grab more steel, and then we're gonna grab the pressure plates that are there, and we're gonna have to wire those in sequence with the dart traps, so that way they will not activate until a zombie steps on the pressure plate, which means we're gonna have to move some trappages as well. And hey, give me those stupid pleasure plates. That's just what I'm gonna call them now, just pleasure plates. Give me the pleasure plates, Yaney. Give them to me now. Giggity. Okay. Oh, I really do. I really don't want to use up all the rest of my steel doing that base, but I think I don't think we have a choice. I think we kind of are stuck with it. Well, but still there. I'm, I'm also trying to think of this from like an audio visual standpoint, not just for myself, but because I'm also streaming it to an audience. Uh, during Horde Night, all you guys are gonna hear is pew, 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 the whole freaking time, like as long as those things are on. So I feel like it's prudent to unwire them from that just for that reason as well. Possibly. Where nothing can possibly go wrong. Uh, possibly go wrong. It's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. How can I not destroy? It's like two blocks away. Oh, this is gonna be freaking weird to try to do though. Here's what we need to do. I, 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 no, just get off of the thing. Nick. Um, okay, uh, I did the thing again where I can't get out of here now. Super good, just way, just the way I planned it. Also, we do some steel upgrades along here. Ooh, some of this concrete's beaten up a little bit. All right, I did the thing again, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Get off of the traps, Nick. God, I'm stupid. Okay, here's what we're going to have to do. All right, in order to wire these correctly. All right. I need another relay. Okay. We wire the pressure plates into a relay. The relay. The relay gets wired into the dark traps because I want it to be if you step on any pressure plate both 
dart traps activate. That's the way it should be, at least in my humble O. But we're gonna need a separate relay for that. So we gotta go get some more relays too. I also don't know if I have enough pleasure plates. I can't, now I can't even say pressure plates intentionally. Uh, nope, I don't have any here either. We've only got seven left, which is only enough to do, well, whatever. What on earth is this music, Epidemic Sound? Man, some of these... When I when I filter by genre, my, my dudes, sometimes y'all scare me, I Because this ain't it, son. All right. So here's what we need to do. And here's the annoying thing is trying to do this. Relay into... Gonna be so tough to do that from inside. Okay. No, 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 no. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. There we go. Okay. These have to feed into. Yeah, the power's gonna flow this way. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you're now you're cooking with gas here, bud. Yeah, that's only letting me wire up one pressure plate. It's only letting me wire one pressure plate per per relay. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> and this one I can't, right? No, it's, it's so it can only be one pressure plate into a dart trap. I am not going to lie. That's not super uh, exciting for me. That's super kind of frustrating to be a honey pee. Because I was hoping I could put like a whole grid of pressure plates and then just like the zombies have to hit like there we go. So now the dart traps are wired into the pressure plates. That's really frustrating, though, like I said, because I was hoping, like, the zombies, like, they would have to hit a bunch of them. Actually, back in here. Let's steal this up while we're down here. Yeah, like, I was hoping that it could just be, like, all of them are wired into the same relay. Like, all of the power incoming into one relay and then out into one dart trap. Uh, actually, out into both dart traps, so that way you could have it all wired in sequence like that. That's what I wanted to do. The game, however, has decided it does not like me and does not want me to do that. I destroyed two of those traps for nothing now. I'm going to have to go back down there and put those back. Some of this concrete is getting absolutely beat to freaking snot here. I really need to do a better job of repairing this stuff uh, after Horde Nights. AKA, I need to do that job uh, at all, because I clearly don't. Okay. Well, doesn't matter. We're going to have to do it again anyway. Nope, stop it. That's kind of frustrating, I'm not going to lie. And the way the zombies have been pathfinding, why am I not leaving that on the outside anyway? The pressure plates should be on the outside, not the inside. <sighs> Whatever. Just get away from me. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. This is all really, really annoying now. Because I was hoping the dart traps wouldn't just fire endlessly, but of course that's not the case. Which, I mean, it makes sense. They're not exactly, like, smart technology or anything, all right? But still, it doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Actually, let's, um... This side over here, and then the other side, we're going to do that. We're going to make sure we put the pressure plate in front of the dart trap itself. Like, right here. How on earth am I not able to hit that from there? All right. That's damaged. Okay. Christiani's pleasure plate number one. Number two. All right. And now we just got to go back up and we got to wire those back in. We got to wire the pressure plates. I'll say it right one of these times, I promise. Yup, 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 yup. Y'all. Okay. 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 And yeah, we just got to go into this one and do this one as well. Man, that's frustrating. I was really, really hoping I could do... Because imagine, like, you just have dart traps set up and then you just have, like, a whole row of pressure plates all feeding into one relay, which doesn't make sense why I can't do that. Like, if I was, um... If I was wiring that, like, IRL, I would be able to do that for sure. Like, it makes no sense to me that the game will not let me do that to be a hundy pee. Do not get that at all. Not the steel. How about the trap, Nick? There you go. Genie eye. Uh, no, Yaney, it would take exactly the same amount of time. Don't you wire things in real life by just clicking like that and clicking like that? Is that not... Hmm, I don't know. feel like you're full of it, Yaney. feel like you're full of it, bud. <laughs> Give me that. All right, let's get uh, the rest of these wooden traps deployed out here. Uh, and then I think what we do is we go back to the main base. We drop off the vehicle. See, I've got rid of... This is where the wall was. So the wall is now gone. We at least got rid of the wall. And now back to the wall. Uh, I think I want to put some more traps over here. Try to tell me, Yaney. I know. I know things. Yeah, these are all the other ones from like the whatever. These traps still do a pretty remarkable job at slowing down a lot of the zombies and keeping me safe at least for short periods of time. Ooh, spooky scary. Uh, what I also need to do is heal myself. And I need to stop walking in traps. Now, we still need a backup system in case we screw up and die. That is still something that we need here. So. Let's, um, should we do the Jeep or just the motor? I guess the motorcycle could just stay down here. We can just walk home. Jeep. 
Jeep could definitely dole out more punishment though, but the motor, well, I, they're actually the same speed. I, I always thought that motorcycle was faster. It's not. They literally have the exact same uh, top speed. And then... All right, let's get that there. All right, so let's move the motorcycle. And then let's go home and let's make our way through our underground tunnel to come back to the Horde Knight base. And let us prepare for, uh, let us prepare for the hordes. I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. The base held up really, really well last time. We've got to make sure we finish wiring those things. That's the only thing. Those still need to, the wiring still needs to be finished for those. All right. So motorcycle is going to be parked right up here, right up here, out of the way of hopefully pretty much anything. Stay there. Motorcycle, we will jump off and we will catch the motorcycle in case we got to abandon ship or whatever. We will jump down. We will take the motorcycle and flee. Here's our runway that we're building for our Janko copter, as I like to call it. The least graceful um, aerial vehicle of literally all time. Someday I need to go through here and actually fix the traps that are uh, like next to my actual main base because a lot of them are very destroyed right now and uh, probably need to be repaired. All right. Do I need anything else from the main base while we're here except for to throw these pleasure plates in the garbage? Man. Mm. Just uh, disappointing, I guess. Just really, really disappointing. All right. Do not need impact driver. Do not need shovel. Do not need machete. Put you away. I think I still need this steel, so we'll take that. The what plate menace you just getting back, are you? Yay, FK for a minute there, were you? Did you miss that whole did you miss that whole thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I couldn't say pressure plates correctly, so we just started calling them pleasure plates. As you do. Uh, let's just put all the fuel in there. Why not? And let's take all that and all the fuel again. Bam, bam. There we go. And put a little bit more fuel in there for those. There we go. And back over here with you. Bam, you go in there and you go there, there, and you go there, there. I'm going to guess this is actually still working. Yep. Not even close yet. Oof. Not even close. All right, let us take our underground pathway and make our way over to the Horde Knight base, as it were. Guys, I bought a whole bunch of decorations. Look at all the decorations and stuff I have uh, to make my kitchen eventually. It's right now, it's just an island in the, in, a, in the middle of an empty kitchen. It's nothing else right now. All right, all the rest of this stuff goes to the Horde Knight base. There's a joke to be made uh, there. Let me consult my two brain cells. Why did Automod flag the term your chicken? Automod, can we have a talk, please, about ridiculousness? Your chicken. Uh, Automod flagged the, the phrase your chicken. I guess because choking your chicken? I I I feel like. Come on, now. Seriously? So our underground tunnel is all ready to go here, actually. Let's turn this thing around so I can uh, use it to go the other way if need be. Like at the end of Horde Night, although we'll probably end up just jumping off the base so I can get my motorcycle back to be Hundy P. And up into the Horde Night base we go.
I know, Menace. I've been digging tunnels. So good, too. Uh, I forgot I turned my generators on, but at this point, they may as well stay on. Uh, I guess those iron traps are just going to be for next time. Probably. Uh, you can go in here because we don't need you anymore. Uh, cobblestone, we do not need anymore. Let's go back in here. And let's grab some more of this concrete mix just in case we need it to do some repair work. All right, we've got to wire these dart traps in sequence with the pressure plates. Pleasure plates. Pleasure pressure plates. Sorry, I can't, Chad. It, it just, it, my brain doesn't work right, okay? Gotta forgive me sometimes, I think. <laughs> Out of the thing. Wire that in there, and then close you. Wait, are all these all steeled up? Yes, it looks like it. It looks like it. And you... In there. There we go. All right, so now the zombies run through and they will hit the pleasure plates and they will be um, have things inserted into them hundreds of times over and over. The kitchen where of the lesbians. Oh, menace. It scans. 100% scans. Okay, there we go, that sign. There, are we all steel over here? Uh, looks like we are. Okay, and... Over here. We need... Wow, there's a lot of stuff on that relay, eh? That one there. And there, there we go. All right. Pleasure plates are locked and loaded. Turrets are aimed and loaded and locked and ready. Blade traps are in sequence. We just got to actually turn on our switches and then we'll be ready to go there. Uh, let's make sure we are steel upgraded along that we're not here. Along all of our main corridors, I want every one of these blocks around the exterior frame here to be steel upgraded. Eventually, uh, if this base continues to survive, we're just going to keep kind of tweaking it and improving it. I think what we would eventually do is lengthen the corridors, like add like a little bit more to them. But for now, they're fine. Just the way they are. There we go. It's a lot of wires you want to touch. Well, holy cow, it's late. I didn't realize it was this freaking late. Ooh. Doggy. All right. Well. Wow. All right then. It is getting late in the evening, my friends. Horde night is almost upon us. We are steel all the way down there. We and we may not be steel allowed. Like I also want to do the frames around the interior of the structure. Yeah, those are all steel. And then what about you? These ones should be. This is the corridor they come down the most. So if I didn't upgrade this one, I'm just an idiot. All right. We are going to head back down inside now. <sighs> We've got an hour and a half. I got to go ammo up yet. Yeah, like these need to be upgraded. Because I want the frame like around me to be steel as well. I think these lower blocks are, but I didn't think I ever did it to the upper ones, and I was right. Ruining my beautiful, perfect paint job. Now we got to do that again. One of these is all the way upgraded around. It's this one here. That's the one they use the most often. That's the one that goes, what is it, north? Yeah. Oh, and this one is too. Oh, what the heck? Game, can you? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna we gotta do some repainting in here, Ob. I don't. Oh man, we're almost out of steel again. Jeez. All right, we gotta ammo up. 
We will keep a little bit of concrete on us just to do a little bit of uh, quick patchwork if we need to. Done with our wire trap. Let's put that away. Uh, I already have an M60. What does one have on it that the other one doesn't? Mine in my inventory only has a 2X mod. I believe this one has a 4. I forgot that I had... I I'd also built one to bring to Horde Knights. Uh, we're going to obviously use the one that's actually in here for Horde Knights for this purpose. Um, let's also see. Let's auto shoddy this up. Molotov cocktails in the belly. Probably don't need all of these, but whatever these. All right. Now we are going to bring our armor piercing rounds. Some of it. We're going to bring our high powered 762. We're going to bring some regular 762 and we're going to bring a bunch of shoddy ammo. More. Uh, meds, uh, vitamins. We're going to vitamin up just before Horde Night begins. Antibiotics, just because we always need to make sure we have more antibiotics. And let's bring uh, some extra first aid kits. Just on account of because I don't think we're going to need anything else really. Uh, cast, just in case they do break something of mine. Could be useful. We'll make sure we eat, drink, fill up the belly. We got to open this ammo up here. Yeah, it's like sta it's stacks of 100 in the stacks, which which isn't bad. All right, uh, let's also repair you, please. Sniper rifle will have high-powered ammo. M60 will have armor-piercing ammo. Actually, that's a terrible idea. Regular ammo, please. Auto shotty's already loaded. So just in case anything does get up to the fence and I really need to pump some uh, stuff into them, uh, we'll be good to go. And we'll go with the high energy ammo for now. I believe we are done down here. Uh, this thing. I know I have nothing in here. Good, you departed. Whatever. Okay, we don't have time to worry about that right now. Because I wanted to spend my skill points still before freaking Horde Knight gets here. And I forgot all about it, so we're going to have to do this quick, folks. All right. Uh, I don't have enough points to take Deadeye. Uh, I know I don't have enough to take Skull Crusher, so we're not even going to worry about it. What does this one do? I forget what this one does. Oh, it increases my swinging speeds with these. I should take these ones at some point. Uh, you know what I should do is things like healing factor, pain tolerance, those kinds of things. One health every 30. Critical injuries, though, 20% faster. I should start taking some of these. I really should. Um, broken bones. Reduce to HP. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do one point there. Uh, don't care. Don't care. Machine gunner. Can't get another point in that without taking more fortitude, which we should probably grab one more. Machine gunner. This is just going to make my machine guns do more damage and reload faster. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want a point of healing factor. So let's do it. Agility. We have literally no points in. <laughs> uh, God, I should take some points in agility and bump up my armor as well. And plus I can start upgrading my pistol damage like for, for my hand cannon, my magnum, I should say. Uh, anything I could take in intellect that's going to help me out on Horde Knight. No, I don't think so. I do not believe so. I am not flopped over yet. Yet. Uh, I could take a, a little bit of this action here too. A little bit more damage uh, to the shoddy just in case I need to. Because here's the thing. I'm going to start needing to take like shoddies. I need to start taking more than one gun type to these tier 6 infestation quests. They're hard. They're hard, and um, I was having real bad ammo problems uh, doing it last time with just one. Ooh, I should take uh, Penetrator. Armor piercing rounds can penetrate an additional block or a target of up to 500 hit points. Bam. There's our skill points spent. Done and dusted. We still got a half an hour. Good. Okay. That's what I need to spend my skill points from now on, because um, 
I don't have time to think about it. I don't have time to overthink it, I should say. I don't have time to overthink it, which I always do in those cases. Real quick, guys. Real quick. Can we get a little bit of paintwork done here? No. Give me this. Any more of the baseboard need to be done. Baseboard. Baseboard. That, why is that damaged? Not even sure how that would have gotten damaged, but whatever. Uh, more baseboard, more baseboard, more baseboard. Okay, nothing. Okay. Aha. Because when zombies... I mean, honestly, I'll be honest. Like, I really like a lighter color here because it makes it easier to see damage on the blocks. That's really the most important reason to do this. But also, it just looks better. Can I get it all painted before Horde Night begins? Because I really don't want to have this crap on me when the zombies attack. I'd really much rather not just have my inventory loaded with paint. <laughs> uh, 2200 in the game. So we literally 15 minutes away in game from uh, the start of Horde Night. So it's a coming. Okay. If I didn't do that, that would have not. That's not good. I think this is it, though. I think this is the last side I had to do. I love that I still have some of the original signs from the grocery store sitting, still hanging in here. Okay, we got it. We did it. Good. Let's not even waste our time carrying that nonsense around right now. Uh, we're also going to drop these uh, um, things down here because we don't need those either. All right. Let's do this. Right? That would be uh, amazing, actually. All right. We have everything loaded for bear. Everything is rocked and rolled and ready to go. Corridor one. Corridor two. Corridor three. Corridor four. Online. Ready to rock and roll. We have ammo locked in every turret. We are ready to rock and or roll. Not both, one or the other. Let the 49th Blood Moon commence. These zombies aren't gonna know what hit them when they hit these pleasure plates. Come on, come on. Yeah. Southern corner. Oh. Soldiers coming in. Soldiers coming in. I'm coming over here, too. Nope. Oh, crap. I forgot about these idiots. Oh, okay. yeah, the cops are in now. I think he jumped up here, and I think the shot he got him. Get a little fire down there in your bellies, yeah! What you doing? Nothing, nothing. Where? No? Are you kidding me? Right now is the time we run out of ammo? Can't get to me now, can you? Give me them skill points. Num 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 num. They're switching their offensive over to here. Ooh, look at that cop penetrated in there pretty deep. I 
I gotta be careful not to push myself up against the bars because I remember last time, last Fortnite, I clipped through the wall. Or I clipped through the bars. Oh, there's one coming over here. That's right, get to that pressure plate. That pleasure plate. Pressure. Why can't I say pressure plate? I just said it wrong when I said, why can't I say it right? They're attacking on two different fronts here. This is a cop blow up. You guys really suck. You will never get to me. Aw, oh, that was the top of your head. Don't kill him. Kill him, please. Thank you. Ooh, puppy. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, I can go all night! I can go all night, son! Ha ha ha, you're dead. Suck it. You're like, that's one wave over, but we that can't be it. There's no way that's it. Boyer's got somebody. Woohoo, baby! My base is annihilating them. I'm not even getting to kill a lot of them personally because the base is doing so good. That, my beautiful friends, is what you call craftsmen. They have penetrated about halfway up this corridor right here, though. Like, the traps are gone. The, the iron traps. Ooh, I see darts firing. That was exciting. I actually saw the darts firing. I was also worried you guys were going to be able to... Now there's an irradiated guy, finally. I hadn't seen one all night. I was worried you guys were going to be able to hear the darts firing uh, over the sound of the turrets. Uh, this is a straight up smoke show right now. Okay, uh, these vultures are starting to annoy me. Let's go up top. Let's go have some fun. Oh, <laughs> oh that was beautiful. Oh my goodness, the sweet, sweet glory. The absolute pure joy of that. Where the uh oh. that it's coming from. Uh -oh. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh, I heard darts again. They haven't even gotten to the blade traps back here. <coughs> I 
fire her darts again. <coughs> ah, dang it. Sorry. Hello? going what you guys doing huh oh you guys know that this is a terrible idea right worst idea ever fish in a barrel baby oh burn, baby burn attacking multiple corridors again? I don't think they are. I think they're just out that front one still. I think they're just out the front one still. I hear these ones too. Yeah, they're coming over here. Whoa! What's going on down here? Uh-oh. You freaking vulture. Where are you? I never did a vitamin stack either. Vitamin stack, come on, get him in the belly. Dang it! Come on. They're trying to do something, and I think what they're trying to do is I think they're trying to break the blade trap. I think they're trying to break the blade, the, the, the dark trap. Because it seems like they're, like, turning to that point on the wall. See, look at them. They're trying to break into the wall right next to them. Really interesting to see. The thing is, I can't really get in there and stop them. <laughs> that, to me... That beautiful, beautiful sound of silence sounds to me like another successful Horde night. Woo! Baby! That was, that was like a lot of firepower, though. I had to dump a lot of firepower out into those zombies out there. Like, that was a lot, a lot of firepower that I just had to dump out that door. Man, I'll tell you though. I'll tell you, it's such a rush, man. It's such a rush. I barely even got to use the shoddy. I think I used it like a couple times. I don't think I really uh, 
fired all that much ammo. This is how much ammo I still have at the end of Horde Night. See, this is what this is like what I'm talking about with the ammo thing before. You can stay here, and all of our Molotov cocktails can go back here. There we go. I think I might have maybe used what? Like just a stack of those things? I think I may have only used like a stack of Molotovs. I don't think I used that many of them. Can't believe I forgot to do my vitamin stack before Horde Night. That was a dumb mistake. I'm going to drop everything down that we can so we can go outside and do some looting and uh, sk 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 folks. Oh, I jumped in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you guys talking about over here? I didn't even get to see any of the stuff you guys were saying during the thing. It's like way too much going on. <clears throat> Cop penetrated pretty deep again. Okay. Yes, Dad. Thank you. Uh, Menace. This is terrifying. Uh, he got annihilated. Was that the um, was that the was that the vulture that got hit by that blade trap? Because that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. As soon as I came out, like it was on top of the roof trying to get in. As soon as I came out, it flew right into the blade trap and just got shredded. Get penetrated by another cop. A lot of banging happening. <laughs> Never change, all you beautiful. People. Never, never change. There's way, like, tons of stuff, even way out here. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Look at this. Loot bag central. Look at the loot bags over here. I'm, I'm on a trap. Nick, you're on a trap, you idiot. Makes me curious, like, did you see the way those, that they were attacking? Like, I'm just curious to see how much damage the loot traps have sustained. I'm really curious to see how much damage these things have sustained. They didn't sustain that much, to be 100% honest. They didn't sustain a lot at all. What were they trying to do? They were, like, concentrating their attacks. In that one corridor, it looked like they were attacking the concrete block behind it. If that even makes sense... Does that even make sense? I kind of want that mining helmet. I'm not going to lie. All this stuff that we can sell or whatever, just dump it all in the bike for now so that way we've got it. Look at all the ammo that I'm finding just doing this too. Here, once again, just kind of like liberate everything from the inventory for the mo. Not the spaghetti, Nick. The spaghetti is your food. You need the spaghetti in your belly. Uh, let's take the steroids, actually. We don't need any more of these for sure. And let's use that. I go back and let's uh, go collect up some more stuff here. The loot baggage is out of control, yo. They have been dropping like so much freaking loot lately, which is nice. I'm not complaining about it because I mean it helps to supplement like my ammo stores and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I gotta build blocks here. We gotta climb up over the top of our stuff here. I did not expect. That is amazing, Yaney. That is very, very amazing. Tell her, uh, tell her congratulations for me. Then, uh, then, then remind her she married you and be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, I'm kidding. A little, sort of. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Get out of the traps, Nick! Jeez. Somebody please tell me to stop walking in traps. So now eventually we're going to have this whole thing. And it's still, still no demolisher either. What is going on with the game stage here? Yeah, see this block right here. They did put a pretty good herd on that one concrete block right there. But what were they trying to do? I don't think... I think their AI just doesn't know how to pathfind to me, so it's just confused most of the time. Or confuzzled most of the time. Dad, was it you? Dad, it's you, isn't it? Uh, is that all of them? Is that all of the loot bags? That's all the ones I can see, unless the turret's got anything a little bit further out. Oh, there's one here. I mean, another absolute resounding success for Horde Knight. Wow. 
I really didn't expect it. I, I really, I really, where are the demolishers? Like, I'm, I'm so shocked that I have not seen a demolisher yet in this game. Demolishers, if you're not somebody who plays Seven Days to Die, they're like these big zombies that have bombs strapped to their chests. And if you shoot the bomb, they'll explode and they do tremendous amounts of damage. I would have sworn I would have started seeing them by now. I'm shocked that I have not seen a single one yet. And you could tell you could tell when you see them too, because they got a big glowing green light right on their chest. Like a big glowing green light right in their right in their chest. And and nothing so far. Like literally nothing. Alright, let's take all of our ammo and stuff out of here. And let's make sure that we put all of our stuff that we're gonna sell in here. Blood bags we can't even sell. We can just throw in the gun. Hunting rifle we don't need. Those we don't need. All these opened books we don't need. Hard, cold, kaiish we don't need. I guess we can just sell those steroids. We don't need to take those ones too. Probably. Maybe. Uh, everything else looks uh, fine. Especially the cat food. Gotta make sure we keep the cat food. Uh, begin to appear after reaching a game stage of 147. <gasps> Is this because I died after the last Horde Night? Is that why I haven't hit that game stage yet? Is that why I haven't hit that game stage yet? Because... That might be why I have Because I died after the last Horde Night, remember? Remember when I drove the bike back into my base and, like, got clipped out of freaking existence? Uh, probably? That's not it. I know there's, like, a... Some, some kind of thing I can check. I'll tell you what we need to do is we need to dedicate a day. Not Horde Night, but we need to get it. That's me choking on all the words. Uh, we need to dedicate to, uh, a Horde Night or a day before Horde Night to coming here and cleaning stuff up. I know there's got to be a way to check it, but I just don't remember what it is. Uh, how is this thing doing since it chewed up a vulture? Oh, you're doing fine. Never mind. How are my, like, my turrets and stuff doing? Uh-oh. Oh, there's still bags down there. Well, I want that. There's a shack and Meg in there. Okay, uh, I see now we may have an issue, though. <laughs> Maybe a slight issue here. Just jump. Just jump. There we go. I think the other issue, too, is um, the other issue is um, I, I need to. Here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. You guys get to see so little of the actual Horde Knight like defenses I've laid out because number one, the turrets are just Shred City. Straight up Shred City annihilating the zombies before most of them get close. The ones that do get close are getting chewed up by these traps. So the ones that actually make the corridors where the electrical trap posts and stuff are, but then they don't hit them because they're going into them. But like the, the I think the hitbox kind of collides with both. I think the hitbox for both of them just kind of collides and it doesn't like work like that. So, player level plus day survive times 1.2. Note that day survive decreases by two every time you die. Yeah, um, 50 days plus, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm like level 85 or something like that. Like, I'm super high level. I'm level 86. So, my game stage then. My game stage is 86 plus 50 now. Decreases by two every time. You, oh, times 1.2. It's times 1.2. So that's 163, but then you got to subtract two for every time you die. Uh, how many times have I died? Deaths, 15. So minus 30. 
That's why I haven't seen a Demolisher yet, because game stage 147, I'm at 163 if I subtract the 30 from the 15 times I've died. That puts me at 133. So that means, but the next Horde Knight is going to be day 56. Assuming I gain no levels for now, okay? Now, even if I even if I gain no levels, so if I don't die again, and I gain like two or three levels, say I get to like level ninety, one point two. Even if I'm level ninety, I still might not have them next. I still might not have them next time. It depends on how many levels I gain. I'd have to gain. I'd have to gain. You said one forty seven, right? I'd have to gain, I'd have to get to level 92 or 93. I'd have to get to level 92. So once I get to level, if I don't die again, assuming I'd never die again or don't die again before the next Horde Knight, uh, next Horde Knight will be 56. And then if I'm in level 92... That's 177.6 minus 30 is 147.6. So I've got to hit level 92. So if I don't hit level 92, there won't be Demolishers next Horde Knight regardless. Because I won't be high enough level. My game stage won't be high enough. Interesting. Okay. Okay, then. Well, we may we may be safe from Demolishers for one more, one more go-round here. Uh, one more go-round. We might be safe from them. Amazing, though. Amazing. Head downstairs. Yeah, we got to turn off our jennies. And we can take care of all this ammo while we're here. And why don't we take some of this and let's just start making a bunch of iron traps. So those are ready to... Oh, I need this, by the way. I want to take more rounds, uh, more um, points in pistols because I want to start being able to take my Magnum to POI raids and stuff. Ooh, also, I got to check the turrets, but we'll worry about turret checks later. Not as concerned about that for now. Look at all the freaking Magnum ammo I have. There's no, um, there's no turret or anything like that I can put those in or use or anything like that. So they're kind of useless. All right, and we're going to leave all the, like, fluids and stuff that we get while we're here. I'm fine with leaving here, but all the other stuff we'll take back home. All the all the canned food, because I can use the canned food to make other types of food. Okay, I can't even fit these freaking... Okay, you know what? No. Give me all the freaking... Give me all the ammo. Give me, Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Thank you. May as well go refill the turrets too. It's not uh, it's not morning yet. So if we go wandering around, uh, zombies are gonna be angry. That's the way it seems to be with these turrets too. These turrets seem to deplete about a stack and a half of ammo each until the zombies uh, start spawning in from a different direction because they never spawn in from like a consistent direction. That's kind of the funny thing too about the game's AI. Like if the game was coded so that the zombies just kept spawning and kept attacking from the same direction, they'd probably eventually overwhelm me because my turrets would run out of ammo and stuff. Gotta relock the ammo. Um, wow, this one's empty! Oh. Speaking of which... Actually, my game stage would probably have to be so high. I'm probably have to get to be so high before this many turrets would be overwhelmed and be completely depleted of ammo. Because you got to think of the shoddy turrets. The shoddy turrets barely use any. That's how little stuff actually gets close enough for the shotgun turrets to hit it. Because the other turrets are annihilating everything so much before it can even get here that we don't even need it. You see what I'm talking about with ammo, Yaney? This is all ammo I found, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've made, like, any of this. I don't think I've made, like, any of this. 
I know I've definitely not made any of the shotgun ammo. I've never made any shotgun ammo this whole place. I now have refilled every single turret, and I still have 9 mil ammo left over just here. Just of what I have here at the Horde Knight base. That's not even counting what I have at home, which is also a lot. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. That's good. Uh-oh, we're thirsty. We are still doing more than fine on the Jennies. Barely burdened through any fuel on Horde Knights, which is great. Let's eat some spaghetti and drink some water. These vitamins can stay here. Blood bags, I suppose, can stay here for no discernible reason. Yeah, and I mean, I'm down to, like, the last four stacks of 9 mil that I have, but you know what? Like, that's not terrible. That's not a bad thing, like, really, if you're asking me, spaghetti. That's not a bad thing at all, if you're asking me, so... Let's take this home, and we'll just, I guess, start making more of it and turn that back on. And yeah, we've got all the rest of the stuff we have. Um, let's, yeah, the iron will actually take home. All the canned food will take home. Cement will take home. Motor tool parts will take home. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Another successful defense. This, this was a grocery store. And I'm, I'm so glad I just doubled down on it. I was just like, you know what? Let's see if we can't do it. Let's see if we can't turn this into a fortress. And this thing has become legitimately like impregnable. Like, I love it. I, I really, really do. I, I It's performing beyond my wildest expectations. But like I said, Demolisher showing up is going to be a game changer because once Demolishers start showing up, like I said, if I accidentally shoot, like, their bomb, they'll explode. They'll completely and totally explode. I kind of, part of me wants to keep this mining helmet, but part of me doesn't because my armor is way better. So whatever, let's just sell it. No point in hanging on to it. All right. Homeward bound. We are homeward bound. Hello, all you beautiful people. In we go. I hate it. The camera, once you swing it around, it doesn't have like a like a dynamic control sense where you start doing it. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it doesn't have the best controls. So when you turn the camera too far, it'll just swing it around. And that's really, really frustrating. Let's empty our do collectors. Who was here for the stream when I put the glass over top? Were you here? If you were here, raise your hand. Because even though it was glass, it still wouldn't let the crops grow, which I find to be so annoying. It really, really, really does blow. We got four super corn, which I can turn into glue. And then we can make duct tape, which we need to survive the apocalypse. Beef and chili and country stock and peas and sham and salmon and ravioli sauce.
I don't know what that was, but I didn't want that to be behind me. Let's put away our super corn. Let's put away our concrete pea. We should fire up. Actually, you hear the fire crackling. Do you hear it? That means I already set them before I left. Look at how much water we have. Why don't we go make some filtered water? Do you guys like my kitchen? It's right now just an island. We've got to have the time to build. But we do not. We've got no time to build. There's our purified water. We've got so much freaking spaghetti. Because the game gives it to me. Pretty much all the time. I think we should make some gunpowder. I think it would be a hoot. I think it would be a laugh. I think that we need more wood. Welcome to my singing stream. I hope that you are here for this. Because if you're not, I'm very sorry. But that's why I added that point redemption. Because I knew all you beautiful, beautiful people would love to see me go. Let us build us another shutty. I don't know that I have enough stuff. I don't think I want that. And I don't have a duck bill, and I don't have a thing to concentrate the fire. Let's put that shotgun away. Let's actually take some of these guns and sell them away. We don't need them. We don't need them. They're not useful anymore. I've also got this random Garbo armor. <laughs> I should probably sell that too, but I am not selling it yet. I don't know why, but I don't really need to. I just need all of the money. I should take all this stuff and sell it. And I have more treasure maps I didn't know. It is almost morning, and that's when I'll stop singing. I hope that you've enjoyed the show.